Go ahead, Dad. Okay. Off you go. Love you. You'll be fine. Remember, take that SIM card out. <laughs> you have anything else? Straight ahead. <laughs> She's on her. She's going to not do it. She doesn't know how to do anything. Dude. Bye, Daphne. See ya. Whatever. <laughs> well, a couple months. A couple months. Couple months. Couple months. <laughs> all, right, all right, let's go. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you slept well. I hope that you had amazing, wonderful dreams filled with fields of flowers, beautiful sunlight, and winding rivers. It's going to be an amazing day. And the reason is because I woke up and for some reason something prompted me to put on a scene from Aladdin when Prince Ali comes to town and Robin Williams' voice in the song just literally filled me with joy, brought me back to my Disney roots. So that's how I know it's going to be an amazing day. I'm about to go get breakfast with my sister right now and then go hang out with her horse, hit the gym, take her to Newark Airport. We got a full day. We got that other vlog it needs to upload tonight. God, there's a lot of life. Oh, what does that say over there? Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind. Last breakfast for Daph in the States for six months. Are you ready? <laughs> no. Yes. Perks of not having to do a nine to five so you can come and get breakfast at a really, really good restaurant. Early in the morning, no one's here. Perfect. Papa, say a prayer. What we got here is French toast with peanut butter, cream cheese, bananas, we got eggs, potatoes, <laughs> avocado. Flexibility by Daph. <laughs> Dude, you are you look ridiculous right now. Huh? Dude, look at how big he is. Yeah, I'll hold it. I said him. Where? Don't move a muscle. Chill out, bro. Good. And there she is, Daphne Lickner, Queen of the Annals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. And Sligo. And, Sli and her trusty steed. <laughs> We're about to get on the horse. I'm not scared. Oh, not. Right here? Yeah, don't set too Oh, all right. You said we have lift. Whoa. Big all right. Lightly, because I'm old, so just hold that. All right. Come on. Hence as hell. <laughs> Dude, this is incredible. I can't even believe you do this and you jump with this. Lord Lickner. King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. Just, just let him walk. To the tree? Not, okay, stop. I know. <laughs> I got that all on video. You did? <laughs> Not no. All. I got it. Did you get it? No, I, I just hear into the tree and then you hear the sky. Sligo, you went. All right, take it. All right, go. Come here. Professional now. Hi, you. Good boy. That was good.
go. Good job. That's a wrap, folks. It was bloody brilliant. And I made a new friend today. The trusty Steve Sligo and together we will conquer the entire world. <laughs> you get one more. It's pretty. Whisper. Just in, like in real life, when you don't get attention from someone, they make a fuss. I'm over here talking with this horse, and this one starts neighing at me. I'm not giving you any attention. It was really weird. Like, I was like, what? Dude, you're, I don't want to say you're going to have to get used to it, but like, as the more fit you get, like, something and B, you put in the work, so they're going to give you mad daps. And that's not a bad thing. You just got to, like, know that it's going to happen. Like, that's what happens when you get to the next level. I really want to take it easy, but sometimes even I, I mean, I know I'm really one not really want to talk because like, you know, it takes me like three months before I finally take a rest day, but. <laughs> like, the, I would go to school maybe every time, like, you know what I mean? But like, now, like, I'm like, yo, like, I gotta get to the gym at this time so I can make my time management skills that they want now. That's crazy. Gym, gym made your time management skills better. <laughs> That's insane. So now from when I first started in, in what was it July like right. you have done like a 180 like you're a completely different person and it's so amazing to see like I fucking love it I have to humble myself yeah don't we all <laughs> <laughs> the daft is about to be out you ready she's wired she's wiling out it's nervous <laughs> Wait, hold on, wait, what does it say right behind this thing on the right? Does that say level two? Let's say level two. Oh my gosh, it does. No offense, staff, but you really don't know any more than mom does, respectfully. You were just pouting in the car 20 minutes ago and thinking you were gonna miss your flight. we are here three hours before you need to be, so. You're just not bloody brilliant. The red button, right? It's red. Oh, I got it. But I will admit that with my sister gone, the chances of me having a peace and quiet in the house are very high. <laughs> so, in the next six months, I mean, the crazy thing is, the next time I see her, my life will be completely different, as will hers. And I think that's the cool thing about trips like this. It's all on you. So, it's gonna be interesting. Check in in a few months. And for the quote of the day, don't tell me the sky's the limit when there are footprints on the moon. Because there are no limits, there never have been any limits, and there never will be any limits. And some proof of that is the fact that I'm using this device right here to contact people around the world 2,000 years ago. I think they thought this was possible. And if for whatever reason you go after something, you try and reach for those limits and you fail, no worries, you'll bounce back because you're that kind of guy or girl. <clears throat> What's well, uh, 10 p.m. Just spent the last six hours taking my sister to the airport, and now I'm on the way to the gym. Right now is like, I'm pretty beat up. I'm fucking fatigued as shit. I had some hard workouts this week, and you know I was debating whether or not I needed to rest day today or tomorrow. I fight myself, telling myself like, yo, you have to go. Like, there's just no excuses. But I always let the face decide. And so I flipped the coin, and obviously it ended up of me going to the gym. Fates always decide the right things. There's no excuses. I have one hour to kill back, so I'm gonna go ham. Yeah, what up?
abs in, some weighted crunches, a lighter weight, but still feeling that burn. The oblique's on fire from yesterday. And then you're here, you gotta put it in work. Got some things to do. Secret room. Uh. the perfect end to the night it's a nice like 30 minutes boxing jump rope circuit feel looking good broke my hands in a little bit not bad very successful night well I'm time to upload this vlog go to bed and the craziest thing is that last week like I was sick as a dog like how I feel now versus then is like night and day. Like I was having trouble like, you know, getting up in the morning, like early, like congested, coughing, no energy, no appetite at all, eating like one or two meals a day, still training. Probably wasn't even necessarily the best idea, but I needed it here. You know, I needed to tell myself that I was okay, you know, that I wasn't that sick I and mean, I wasn't gonna let a cold beat me down. You know, it's so important to like always be an optimist. Like, and that's what I am, I'm a huge optimist. So it may or may not have been a good idea to train, but I was still there like twice a day. I was still working, I was still shooting videos. I was still creating content. Like the main important ingredient is that, you know, I was still moving. You know, I wasn't gonna let that sickness beat me down, you know, like, and the real key is like, as long as I'm breathing, I'm working. As long as I'm breathing, I'm finding a way to get better. As long as I'm breathing, I'm living. And that is just the key. Like, you just can't let anything get between you and your goals. A little sickness for sure. There's just nothing between you and your goals. Except for you. So you gotta overcome yourself first, everybody. And that's what last week was. On to this week. I'm feeling fantastic. It's it's a I love my life. Find a way to love your life, one way or another, because it's the only one you got.